Hey guys, going to be doing my um, comparison here of the Sage 2 and Sabenza Small 21. I'm um, going to gonna say right off the bat, these are two completely different knives. So as far as comparing these, it's going to be because of materials used, not because of the actual knives themselves, because these are two very different knives. Um, so I'm just going to go over some specs real quick. Um, if you haven't seen the reviews, I'll just go over a little bit here. 2.94 inch blade. Um, three ounces, which is considerably light for the tank of a knife this is, features the Reeve integral lock, which Chris Reeve has invented, which is also known as the frame lock, and uh, it's uh, six aluminum, four vanadium, titanium uh, slabs here. So it is um, majority uh, all titanium with a little bit of aluminum vanadium, and that's also infamous on the Sabenza, so titanium um, Reeve integral lock or frame lock. Um, as you can see, pillar construction uses blue titanium nitrate coating for the pyramid lug, lanyard um, piece holder here, and also the pillar in the back here. Very simplistic pillar construction. Um, knife is extremely smooth, um, very tight tolerances. Although smooth, you can just feel the tolerances of how tight and this knife is well put together and just the lock up very tight it's about 75 percent which is within specs of Chris Reeve knives about 50 to 75 percent is what they say is uh, average from factory it's got the very nice CR insignia there and um, just overall very very nice knife and uh, as you can see here when you live it out flat you can see that you can still see these Allen wrench heads here because they're a little bit rounded off and they come off the handle just a little bit there and uh, also, you can see the C shape cut out here for access to that thumb. Thumb left. Okay, now as far as the Sage 2 is concerned, um, this is just Spider Co.'s way of giving tribute to um, knife makers and uh, lock innovators. And the Sage 2, to, um, specifically, is for Chris Reeve. And that is why it features the RIL, Reeve Integral Lock. And along with using the um, original locks created by the original innovator, they're also doing dedication by using the same materials as that knife um, innovator did. Um, and so, of course, Chris Reeve, he used the Reeve integral lock first, and he used it with uh, titanium. So here, he uh, Spyderco has incorporated the uh, titanium 6AL4V, so again with the aluminum and vanadium, and they, <clears throat> of course, in, um, put in the Reeve integral lock here. So, um, like I say, completely different knife. It, it features a wire clip, features a spear point blade, three inches overall, but with a um, two, uh, two and five eighths inch cutting edge here. So a little bit shorter cutting edge. It is also a full flat grind versus the Sabenza's hollow grind. It also has a thumb ramp here that's much more progressed with much um, more rigid jimping. Also a choil here with some jimping. And, of course, you can see here is the ergonomics of the knife on Spydercos. They are made to fit like a glove. So this thing just fits like an extension of the hand when you hold it. And, of course, with that choiler, you can really choke up. So this is an extremely comfortable knife to hold. just doesn't even feel like a knife in your hand. So with that being said, um, lock bar is also easy to push over. It's much softer than that of the Sabenza. Um, as far as the screws go, they are completely flush. So they disappear when you put that flat. So that is really cool. These are using Torx bits here. Also another cool thing is as you can see here for the thumb hole, there's a huge cutout here. You can see how they nicely shaved off some titanium. So you can really just slide your thumb in here to get the thumb hole, which is already huge. So very easy opening. Left hand friendly as well. Also easy to disengage left handed and close. So very comfortable knife. It is tip up only uh, right and left side using that wire clip and it also uses only one Torx bit here. Um, all Torx bits uses and of course the same simplistic construction as the Sabenza only using three Torx bit screws, one for the pivot, two for the pillars and uh, of course you have the stop bar there. So um, both extremely beautiful knives, perfectly centered, I already said extremely smooth uh, opening and closing and um, Sabenza same very smooth tolerances are much tighter makes you feel like it's more of a tank of a knife um, also cool thing here is you can see the pocket clip is flush with the lock bar there which is by no means bad 
I love this knife. These are two of my these are my two favorite knives in my entire collection. Um, but notice on the Sage 2, that pocket clip, they moved off the lock bar onto the handle of the knife. So that's pretty cool. Allows you to to you know able more access to the lock that lock bar. So when you push the lock bar out, you have plenty of room. The clip isn't pushing down on it in any way or whatever. In uh, some people's eyes, that may be a plus if it was over the lock bar, just because um, there's you know acts kind of like a hinder or stop, so you don't overextend it. And I have to say this is a bit soft, but you know if you're if you're gentle with your knives or not so much gentle, but just appropriate with your knives, that's not a problem. But um. Yeah, basically two different knives. Here you got the Spyderco Sabenza, well executed. Does not have the sandblasted titanium, so they are extremely smooth and nice. Feel great though, and with the Ergos, it's just stuck in your hand. And the Sabenza, which feels like a knife because of the rectangular construction. Got a little bit of a thumb ramp, a little bit of choil here, but you just got some very false jimping that just kind of feels nice, and a little bit of finger choil that feels good. But you got modified drop point hollow ground blade. And you got a full flat grind S30V both on these um, blade. Here you got the stone wash finish, and you just got the regular satin finish. And the Spenza does out lengthen this by a little bit here, as you can see, as far as the cutting edge goes. On the Sage 2, you can see a modified spear point doesn't have quite as much sweep. Spenza has quite a bit more sweep there. Um, so those are pretty much the aspects of both of these knives. I feel they're both completely different other than the materials used as far as functionality uh, goes they both cut very well um, this one's way more ergonomic friendly uh, obviously it's a lot bigger package Spenza small is a much thinner and a little bit shorter than the Sage 2 but both carry very well and uh, let's see if I can get a little view here in the pocket clips um, wire clip fits super super low so it's like invisible in the pocket Sabenza so also fits really nice, covers most of it, but with the wire clip, it's very nonchalant. Nobody really knows what you're carrying. This may be a little bit more apt to say I have a pocket knife on me. You can see it's got that nice dimple here, or dip, so it really squeezes against that line of your pants. Wire clips doesn't have that, but fits very nicely and sits so low that it's not really a problem. So um, both of these knives are just wonderful. Chris Reeves Sabenza is just about twice as much as the Sage 2. But when it comes down to it, you're really paying for the fit and finish. You're paying for the sandblasted titanium. You're paying for the blue, you know, uh, nitrate, titanium nitrate coated thumb lug and spacer. Paying for the overall tight tolerances. The fact that they put these together by hand. You're paying for the stone washed finished blade. The mirror polished cutting edge. This did come slightly sharper than the Sage 2's S30V, but this is just a mirror polished edge. So. You're really paying for the fit and finish, as long as with the cutting ability um, uh, on the CRK, on the Chris Reeve knives. And the Spider Coast Sage 2, you cannot go wrong for the price. Um, I highly recommend the Sage 2 if you um, have the money and you don't want to jump for the Sabenza yet. This is definitely a great entry level knife to warm yourself up to, you know, that $100 range. It's about $165 knife on average. And uh, Sabenza, about $330 for the small there. So, um, really trying to power out here all the information I can. Tried doing this video like three times already. I just can't get it quite perfect the way I want it. But uh, hopefully, I covered everything I wanted to here. And uh, just you know, to say again, these are completely two different knives, just sharing similar materials. And that's all Spider Co was trying to do was give a tribute to Chris Reeve for his Reeve integral lock and utilize the same materials as Chris Reeve did. So there you go, guys. That is my comparison bid of the Sage 2 and Chris Reeve Small Sabenza 21.